Hi there guys how are you doing this is your friend and tutor Manas and guys today we will be continuing with a discussion on involutes and today the case that I am going to take up is what you call the length of string greater than the circumference all right so let's see what the problem has in store here we go an inelastic string 165 mm long has one end attached to the circumference of a circular disc of 50 mm diameter Draw the curve traced out by the other end of the string when it is completely wound around the disc, keeping the string always tight. Alright, so we have been given an inelastic string which is supposed to be wound around a circular disc. Now this particular circular disc is having a diameter of 50 millimeters, and at the same time the inelastic string that is supposed to be wound around this disc is 165mm long. The first thing that should immediately strike your mind is the circumference. Let's see how much that circumference works out as. So it is going to be working out as 157.07. .07. All right. You can clearly see that this string length is 165 and this circumference is 157 approximately. Slightly more. Okay. And hence when you try to wound this string over this disc, not only it will cover the entire circumference, but it will also go ahead than that. I'll show you why. All right. So let's get started with the construction. Here we go. So let's make a point, let's take this as the center, let's draw a circle and let's divide this circle into four equal parts. But before that, let me give it some dimensions. Okay, so the radius is 25 millimeters as it is a circle of 50 mm diameter, fine. Around which a string of 165 mm is supposed to be wound. All right, now let's divide this circle into four equal parts. Let's do that quickly. And now let's do this four parts into eight parts. That's it. Fine. Now let's name each and every point in the circumference. Let's say this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this is going to be 8. Alright, guys we know what the circumference is. So let's right now draw a straight line which is equivalent to the circumference. Okay, so circumference has been given to us as 157. Alright, right. Now we need to divide this line into 8 equal parts and for that I'll be drawing a line of any random length and at any suitable angle. Now with a radius of 1 cm, I'm going to be putting up arcs starting from this point. That's the first arc. Now with this point as the center, I'm going to be placing one more arc. Let's keep on doing so until we have 8 arcs in totality. Now this 8th arc has to be joined with the end of this line. Let's do that. Now keep up your mini trapdoors along this line. Okay, tighten the screw, bring it to the 7th point, draw a line. Bring it to the 6th point, draw a line. 5th, 4th, 3, Two, one. Now you can clearly see that this line has been divided into eight equal parts. Let's name them one by one. All right. But the string length in reality is not 157.07. The string length is 165. So you need to keep the zero of your scale over here. Okay. And somewhere along this line, ahead of eight to the right of eight, you're going to have point P that is going to be at a distance of 165 millimeters. Okay. Something like this. So this point lies at a distance of 165 from here, this point, okay? Let's do that quickly. So this is going to be what you call point P, which is supposed to be tracked. Now, moving ahead. The next thing to do is to draw tangent from point 1, from 2, 3, 4, from all the points in fact. Let me show you how this can be done. Okay, so keep one scale of your mini drafter over here, so that the other scale is absolutely perpendicular to this spoke, alright? And now draw a line. That's it. Randomly of any suitable length. Okay. Now keep your drafter along this spoke two spoke. All right. Something like this. And this scale is absolutely perpendicular and hence it will qualify as a tangent for two. So keep on doing this process for all the points three, four, five, six, seven, and for eight, you don't need to draw a tangent. This line itself qualifies as a tangent. All right. Now just think about this. When you try to wound this string around this circular disc, when this much portion, this much portion of the string comes into contact somewhere along this arc, um, this portion will be remaining. Okay, so 1 to P will be remaining. So with 1 as center and with 1 P as the radius, this 1 P as the radius with 1 as center, you need to put an arc over here. And this is going to be point P1. Similarly, with 2 P as radius and with 2 as the center, put an arc. This is going to be point P2 with 3 P as the radius and with this 3 as the center, this is going to be P3, 4 to P, 4 as center. P4, 5 to P, 5 as the center, P5, 6 to P, 6 as the center, P6, 7 to P, 7 as the center, P7, 8 
to P eight as the center P eight. All right. Now this is the extra portion. Okay. This is the extra portion of the string. You can say this. Okay. And finally, this point, this point over here is going to be point P. This is an approximation, in fact. Okay. This is going to be point P. You can predict this. Fine. And when you join all these points in sequence with the help of a smooth curve, the curve, in fact, is what you call an involute. That's it. There you go. So guys, that was all from my side. If you have any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you guys believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering, then guys, do recommend and encourage your friends to subscribe to this channel so that all of you can learn engineering graphics and engineering drawing in the best possible way. And guys, in the next tutorial, I'll be taking up yet another problem in the series. And let me tell you what the problem is. It's going to be dealing with the length of string when it is less in the circle circumference. Until then, it's a wrap for today. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.